Well, I have a hard time turning on my car on E85 in cold weather. Think of doing stage one on a B9S4. We do no. our best to tweak everything so that it is a quick fire up. I know um, Chris spent a bunch of time on that in particular. Um, so no, we, we try and make it yeah. as OEM like as possible. It, it should start just fine. Uh, certainly nothing like you're gonna have a hard time starting. That would be like a, something would have had to fail for that to happen. These these new. I remember when I was a kid. I, I grew up in the Midwest, where it was like minus forty below regularly. And there's this thing like at, you know nobody's car would start in the winter. You know there'd be like neighbor would be out there for two hours trying to start in. There was like special sp starting sprays and warming blanket. You know. All that stuff's gone now. Like new, new factory engine management systems have made engines run incredibly well in all kinds of conditions, whether very hot or very cold. The the issues of the past were limitations of the factory engine management system. You, you have a carburetor that had very little ability to adjust for cold weather starting. So that's why it would be so hard to start. And then it would run okay once it warmed up. So once the carburetor kind of got into its operating parameters, it would start working again. But but minus 20 below was just way outside what the carburetor could account for when it came to temperature. Then you, you saw early fuel injection systems get better at this. I mean, Audis used to have a cold start valve. They had, they had a, a, a... Which was just an open and close injector. And it just missed fuel in the intake manifold while you're cranking. Yeah. I mean, it was literally connected to the, to the ignition switch. Well, there was the one that was also a thermostatic. Uh, it bolted to the block, and that's what it used mm -hmm. as its temperature to ratio yeah. how much fuel was going to come through that night. valve. It's still have nightmares and all that stuff. But yeah, if the temperature was below a certain amount, that switch with the temperature switch would turn on this valve to, to just dump fuel into the intake manifold. So it started. So all that stuff's gone, right? Um, so there's, there's nothing about going to our tuning that would change how the car starts. They were, they were asking the 85 specifically, and yeah, no, and, and that, it's harder to light off, but we, yeah. we have been working in, in, on making that as, as, you know, as solid as all the gas files. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's going to be nothing like what you're thinking, though, when it comes to, like, having a hard time starting your car. It could maybe crank one or two more things. It, you know? Yeah, that's not uncommon. Yeah, but on, I don't, any, I don't on any E85 file, on any car, just because the fuel demand is a little higher on start. Yeah, I wouldn't. Quant call that hard time turning on yep. if it has to crank one or two extra times. So it'll start just fine.